In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract valuable information from Facebook profiles, company pages, and even products from the Facebook marketplace without any code and just one click. In order to scrape all this good stuff, we're going to be using a free Chrome extension called Magical. Magical is a productivity tool that's easy to use and doesn't require any coding skills, APIs, or integrations and you can get up and running in seconds. If you don't already have this extension, simply install it by heading over to getmagical.com slash YouTube. The link can be found in the description. So grab a seat, press that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and let's start scraping. So first, let's take a look at scraping Facebook profiles. So as you can see, I have a few leads in different tabs in my browser. And for this particular lead, what I'm gonna do is start scraping his information. Obviously, I'm talking about the founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. To activate the extension, I'm gonna click on the icon in the extension bar, and as you can see, Magical starts scraping the information from this page. So I have things like his first name, his account name, and other information presented here in the sidebar. Now let's say for instance that I wanted to scrape something else from the page that wasn't scraped or originally by Magical. What I could do is click on this add more button here, and you'd know that it's activated it because there is a blue border around the page. So now I know that if I hover over any of the text content, I can scrape that information. For instance, if I wanna give his marital status, I can click on this here and I'll just type in marital status as my label and then click on create label and then save it. And so now that information is going to be added into Magical's database. When I'm done, I can click on this button right here. And so the thing about Facebook that we have to be cautious about is that each page is a bit different and not everyone shows all of the information because of the privacy settings that we have available. But you can go to each page as you would like and just highlight the information accordingly so that if there's anything that you might be missing, you can add it into the database so that when Magical transfers over to Google Sheets, we have all the information that we need. So for instance, on Bill Gates page, I may want to add the number of followers that he has. And so I can click on that icon, but this has already been added, so there's no need to do so. I'll click on done. At this point, I think I have enough information. So I'm gonna start transferring information into my Google Sheet. To do so, what you need to do is click on this transfer to button and then click on new spreadsheet. Now I have the option of either sending over just this tab or doing multiple tabs. And so to save time and to be more efficient and more productive, I'm gonna click on all the tabs and it's gonna take a second here to start to produce some of the content on this page. And just like that, I now have a Google Sheet with all the data in individual cells with the headers clearly highlighted. And you can do with this information what you will, whether that is contacting them individually and using Google Sheet as a CRM or highlighting the cold, warm or hot leads. So for company pages, the layout is a bit different. So we have to take note of those things. But similarly, if I want to scrape this information, I can click on the magical icon here. And again, magical starts scraping the information. So I have things like the account name, the about, the followers, job title, all things of that nature. And so without further ado, I can actually just go ahead and start transferring because I have most of these tabs open. Funny thing that I found about Apple is that they really don't pay much attention to their profile. However, they have a ton of followers. Anyway, that was just a, something that I ought to note. Anyway, I'm going to transfer this information to a Google Sheet. I'm gonna click on transfer. I'm gonna activate a new spreadsheet and then click on all tabs. And so again, we successfully scraped all the information into a new Google spreadsheet. Obviously, the name is going to be a bit different, so we can actually just rename that so we can say uh, company profiles. And let's say for instance, I may be wanting to read up on a company, I'm looking for a job, and I want to get some background information, this might be something I might do. And you can do with information what you will, you can manipulate it in a Google Sheet as you see fit. So now if you're looking at purchasing items through Facebook Marketplace, then you may want to compare prices and keep tabs on the various items. Locally, where I'm from, people sell cars and various automobiles, so I can easily scrape this data in the event I want to contact a vendor about said vehicle to make a more informed decision. Okay, so I have a few cars lined up in several tabs from different vendors. And so what I'm gonna do is activate Magical by clicking on the icon above. 
and immediately Magical is able to scrape information from this particular page. And so I can see information like the price, uh, the year, and the number of different miles and things of that nature. Again, if I want to add additional information from this page into the Magical database, I can scroll down all the way to the bottom and click on anything that is highlighted. And again, we see this blue border to indicate that we are able to scrape more information. And so let's just say, for instance, I wanted to highlight that it's an automatic transmission. I could click on this and then I could talk about, I could write like engine type and click that and then I can click save. And so just like that, Magical has that saved in its uh, database. So I'm gonna click on done to close that scraping feature. And like I said, each page is gonna have different information, but the core things are going to be on each page. Now I can go ahead and skim through all of the content in each tab and just make sure that all of it is accurate. But for now, I'm just going to go through the transfer tool, go to a new spreadsheet, and then click on all tabs. So it's gonna scrape all the information from various Facebook tabs into a Google Sheet. So let's do that now. So as you can see, Magical has transferred all the data that was being scraped into this Google Sheet. And so I can make a more informed decision based off of the price. Obviously, this is one that's gonna be out of my price range right now. And so I may want to consider a more affordable option. I can also look at the year that this vehicle was made and manufactured. And so if you really want to take advantage of Magical and to be able to avoid having to bounce around through different tabs and try and get more information that way, this will be the approach that I would take using our extensive tool. So whether it's profiles, company pages, or marketplace products, one click with Magical and you're set. Now you have the time to focus on the more strategic aspects of your business or task at hand. No more copy pasting, no more manual data entry, just pure productivity. We also have a ton of other scraping videos demonstrating how you can scrape on other platforms, so be sure to check out our channel for more content like this. Remember, this tool is free for you, so don't wait. Go ahead and install Magical using the link in the description. Leave your thoughts and comments and suggestions in the comment section below or share how Magical has made your life easier. We'd love to hear from you. That's it for now. I'm Michael Cunningham, and as always, keep it magical.